this of chapter 4 will talk about the service excellence and why is it important now when you go beyond the expectations of your customers and offer an industry leading experience that truly bows over them then such activity is understood as service excellence now if you want to have a loyal customer base who buys again and again repeatedly from you or you want to increase the repeat um, footfalls of your store visitors now service excellence will be the key however the process of accomplishing this excellence does it occur by some coincidence uh, you need to go further and you need to come up with a, a well organized procedure that is further actualized all through the organization now by the end of this uh, lecture you will get to know how uh, everything necessary for incorporating uh, service excellence so therefore let us start by unfolding some of the concepts now some of the concepts that leads to the definition of the uh, the service excellence are, are, are as follows now service is a uh, give and take relationship between uh, between uh, two part two or more parties wherein there is no exchange of goods okay remember that there is no exchange of good now it's a give and take uh, relationship now some benefits are transferred from one stakeholder to the other now there are many types and forms of services too no so also the several companies offer various kinds of services to consumers uh, in any business, customer satisfaction is of the most considerable importance. Now, in the process of the companies that provide services instead of products, it is important. Uh, uh, the importance increases manifold. Uh, it is because service is all that the company relies on. Uh, relies on whether the reputation of the company or the revenue are being generated and everything depends on the service and the quality of the service this quality of service is called service excellence now what is service excellence now we go further into the meaning of what is uh, service excellence now service for the people uh, it is meant to satisfy the demands of the customer uh, as the term uh, rightly suggests Service excellence means excellent treatment and the excellent service quality to your customer. Um, and then, service excellence does not uh, necessarily uh, mean that increasing the expectation of the customer and then struggling to meet them. It merely means delivering what you have promised before providing any service. Now, the problems, the requirements, and the expectations of the customers are to be considered also. Uh, the act of meeting these expectations and solving the challenges of the customer effectively is called service excellence. Now, what is the importance of service excellence? Um, uh, wherever a service is concerned, service excellence comes into play. Now, it is of great value and the reasons why it is so are listed or rather provided as follows number one is to attract more customers and then more the number of customers who avail of your service more will be your profits so it is beneficial to have more customers uh, service excellence help you to do so uh, it enables you to uh, to create a good impact on your current customers now the customers who are happy and satisfied your service spread the world or the word rather now number two is a less negative feedback now the success of the service provided uh, depends on the input the customers give now positive feedback adds a feather to the cup meaning negative feedback drags the service provider's position down now, the service should be excellent to minimize these negative feedbacks. Okay, so another one in number three is uh, lesser 
clashes with the customers. Now, in the case of bad service, which happens so inevitably, so there are uh, cases we're in, and there are times that uh, you encounter this kind of uh, uh, bad service no, encounters. Now, in this case, the customers get uh, agitated and file complaints against the, you know, whatever it is. Now, if we can cause substantial losses to the company, uh, however, if you consistently provide uh, uh, excellent service, therefore, uh, there are far lesser chances of getting into clashes with the customers. So, meaning, they're happy about the services that are being rendered and provided no, by, your, uh, by the business. Number four is considering uh, the profitability. Now, apart from the benefits of having a good reputation and positive feedback, the tangible benefit of service excellence is uh, the profit the company gains. Okay, and it's important. The very existence of a business is for it to be able to be uh, robust in its financial capacity. So, meaning the, the profit. Now, for a service that is assured of excellence quality, consumers are ready to pay higher prices and also the customer's network uh, continues uh, to increase, which helps in getting more revenue and in turn increases the profit. Okay, so that's the equation. Now, number uh, five is uh, branding. Now, uh, it is a known fact that in uh, branding is the process of establishing a brand in the market. We all know about companies that have been providing the same services for so many decades, decades already, but uh, have still stood firm because of their service excellence, because they have already developed the relationship to, its, uh, to their customers. Uh, it helps us understand that uh, to get a name, to get a fame, your services has to be of excellent quality and customers remembers that and they keep on you know uh, 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 in terms of uh, repeated customers no? so uh, uh, they begin your loyal customers eventually now we go to the qualities that help you achieve uh, service excellence now service excellence is of a uh, high quality now to achieve this you need to have a specific values and abilities now given are the following uh, for you to be able to achieve this you know, the qualities that help you achieve service excellence number one is to analyze analysis of the situation now every situation has its different flavors no it's they're different and therefore it is something to learn from every situation um, the one who understands this can succeed in achieving service excellence now, there needs to be a proper analysis of any given situation from the different perspective, from the different angles, and from the different uh, sets of situations provided. So, analysis of the situation is number one. Now, number two is the awareness of the concerned factors. Now, in any service, uh, in any service providing company, however, there are various stakeholders and all of them observe and all of them evaluate and a lot of them analyze them in different ways so therefore they go into a different approaches but if you are aware of these perspectives and consider all these factors while designing service you will emerge as excellency you know, because you understand you understand what the situation is okay so another one is empathy towards the consumers now, what is empathy? Empathy is uh, an understand what the other person is feeling and what he or she is going through. So, in this case, if you try and empathize with the consumers, uh, they will get friendlier with you and become easy to handle. Now, if that happens, it will also give you a better insight into their problems and help you resolve them in a better way. So, you got to have a very good and develop a relationship with your customers okay number four is uh, questioning but not doubting now so there's a difference between it now questioning but not doubting uh, indeed uh, doubting will not uh, lead you anywhere because you you're not trusting you doubt the person you doubt the customer but interviewing with a tinge of curiosity will help 
uh, will help no in a lot of understanding no service is perfect though no? it's a given fact and it is essential to admit that even the service you are providing has a <coughs> scope for improvement and this will make you ask questions and the eagerness to continually improve will make you better service next is um, maintaining positive relationship uh, providing a service is not a job that, uh, done by only one person it is a symbiotic relationship now there is a team of people working on it and then there is a network of stakeholders that includes the clients now if you succeed in maintaining a healthy and positive relationship in these networks your self your service will be will get an excellent pictures okay so another one is a responsible attitude if you go or rather if you hold just one person responsible for service excellence you will never achieve it again it is a symbi some symbiotic relationship amongst those who are in the loop however if each team member has a sense of responsibility and the works whole ho and works wholeheartedly towards offering uh, an excellent service and this attitude will go a long way okay next is the adaptability now these days the markets are continually changing it's robust it's dynamic now the requirements and expectations of cost customers are changing at a faster pace now therefore even the service has a need to be there's a need for it to, to evolve okay so service needs to evolve now you should design a service that caters to the clients expectations and adapt to never uh, to to a newer or to a uh, adaptable uh, uh, current ways of working and that will help you keep with the times okay so there now next is a uh, bouncing back so when you say bouncing back what does it mean so every business and every service faces problems irrespective of how good they are but instead of getting bogged down uh, bugging down by the uh, by these setbacks uh, the one who learns and comes out with a better version of the services emerges excellence or excellent rather now therefore dealing with complaints and negative feedbacks in a good stride will help achieve service excellence now after uh, knowing different qualities that can help a business in ensuring service excellence let us have a look upon the critical steps of ensuring service excellence that plays pivotal role in making best performing customer service business model now there are six steps actually of ensuring excellence in service so what are these number one is setting and having vision and mission statements now this heavy uh, heavy vision and mission statement uh, uh, will that uh, will uh, possess and comprise of its employee as an integral part of service excellence okay now so integra uh, integrated in the vision and mission should be the possession and comprising of the employee you know, as, a, as a part of it now companies that offer excellent customer service have vision statement that explain uh, that they seek to be in the future and the mission statement tell about their motivation and things they stand for okay next is having clear business objectives um, successful business with a good culture of service excellence have clear straightforward and quantifiable business objectives that uh, everyone in the organization knows okay so it's important now such companies not only have objectives related to growth and profitability but also have service oriented activities or objectives okay so there number three is having service standards now having serv uh, service standards is uh, essential for explaining to the employee precisely 
uh, about the activities, about the practices, and behavioral patterns that are anticipated from them, and ensuring the excellence in the day-to-day -day of performances. Now, next is including intervention and learning strategy. Now, for ensuring um, service excellence, businesses need to uh, ensure that their service philosophy, which is integrated in the vision, business objective mission, and service standards are interlaced into each part of the hierarchical structure of the organization. Now, number five is ensuring organizational alignment. Now, top-rated companies that are that ensure service excellence utilizes each communication channel or resource to continually channelize their service philosophy to every level of the organization. Now, different mediums that are used as communication resources in these uh, meetings, uh, posters, wallet cards, bulletin boards, newsletters, etc. No? So these are uh, that, that uh, the organizational alignment should be integrated into it. Uh, communications no? so there now next is measuring service excellence now okay finally you need to measure performances and ensure leadership accountability to track service excellence for this you can use basic scorecards that employees can use for tracking the company's success in ensuring excellence okay uh, okay, so uh, there. Now, on the final thoughts, service excellence is a wonderful quality by which the service provider can achieve the fame, the success, and the financial profits that it deserves. Now, there are some qualities and abilities that one needs to master um, to be uh, served excellent. Now, incorporating a culture of service excellence in your organization is a journey. It's not easy, you know. It's a it's, it's a process, a continuous process, and not the uh, final destination. But there is no alternate way or or convenient solution for this. You really have to work hard for it. Now, with the six steps mentioned uh, a while ago, you will be able to elevate customer cost experience from uh, average to extraordinary. That will ultimately foster service excellence and a loyal customer base now what according to you are the uh, essential factors behind ensuring all of this service excellence in your industry now it's important for us to analyze it okay so there thank you very much for listening and uh, see you again in the next chapter